Well, we've got our first part of the bands all said and done. It's Jace, Yumi, Ari, Volley Bear, Lucian, and Twisted Fate all removed. There They're going go. for it. And I think you can go like Twitch Lulu. I think other enchanters fair, work fair, really, fair, really fair. well with it. Um, you know, I do think that obviously there, there's a lot of power in that specific combo, but uh, clearly comfortable, willing to go towards it, does have incredibly good scaling. And honestly, ever since the durability update, Twitch's laning phase is much harder to punish. Okay, it's more it's more go in, right? Aatrox, yeah. Wukong, Rakan, everybody's going in like this. And although Team Liquid, they're limited in engage options. And by limited, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much a Swain Claw. Swain is so damn powerful in those situations. Especially with the way he can just keep refreshing the ulti it's now over and over and over, and over again. As long, like, I've, I've seen the clips where they just throw him into a bunch of target dummies in the fountain and he can't die. <laughs> so, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing how Bjergsen plays it. I want to see if Team Liquid bounces back, or if FlyQuest can keep on trucking in this one, get themselves up to a tied record if they beat TL here. Let's do it! Since typically, especially in pro, you're needing to play more side lanes, although last game was an exception to that, where they had the Mundo <laughs> going side and they put a Blaze all of mid on Corky, but we'll definitely be looking forward to seeing Bjergsen. A little bit of cheese. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, and a, a very little bit. Step. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work out on too well. All right. Nothing more to it. I like the fact that they at least went for a little bit of something, but yep, FlyQuest being ready for that, stepping away from the bullets there. Hansama finds just a little bit of extra trading. Both of our junglers starting off on the top side of the map, so they will be pathing towards this bottom area. We'll see if anybody can make anything happen early on or if they get into a fight over the crab. I really like how TL's bot lane was playing that, though. They're trying to actually zone them off XP, right? They're using the, the Q from Zarya, just spamming it out, trying to keep them off of that ranged XP. Very clearly, TL will have the push in the 2v2, uh, but they're trying to get them to deny some of this experience. I'm not quite sure if Fly's bot lane got all of the XP. Either way, the wave is going to crash. It's just going to be about how much can you pick up as this does come to you under the tower. Uh, three Relic Shield charges should make it so that FlyQuest can get most of it. If any are at awkward health, you expect Afro to use the charge. Let's see who goes with the crab first. We are going to get both junglers showing up. Santorin walking into the Drake pit. Likely to have to flash out of this one. Sand fights. Core JJ coming in to try to stay oh, with Johnson the flash in. follow. Santorin Ooh. stuck around too long. Greed is a deadly sin for Team Liquid. Core JJ flashing back into the pit, trying to get away. Takui's coming up from the other side. Got to land chain. It. Can we stop him? He's got the they chain. Got him. Core JJ thrown up into the air, and the money goes to Jose Diodo. Oh, that is huge for FlyQuest. They get first blood on a Johnson and the double buffs onto the Twitch here. OTP, if he gets dove on this, this is a fat wave pushing in. Oh, no. So Philip really needs six here to try to survive. But this is looking like an easy dive. We'll see how far off six he is. I well, get it. He has six. Well, Philip trying to stay alive here. Oh, oh flash Q3! Philip with the outplay to make a one for one. Still a massive win for Philip there. Something about playing top lane for FlyQuest to split. You're not going to get that much help, so he needs to be able to clutch out in fights like that. Johnson immediately popped by Han Sama. Team Liquid getting a kill here in the bottom lane, but Jose Diodo shows up, and he's ready to go in for the Team Liquid AD carry. One more hit with the stick and point and click. Core JJ nearly kills off Afro move, but now he's able to get on back as Jose Diodo keeps the chase alive and scares the Team Liquid support away one for one. For nearly 1K in the lead, just in that 1v1. Another fight well, here at Rift Herald. Yeah, we might have some problems. Team Liquid pulling away from the Herald, looking towards Whippo now, and Jose it. Diodo runs in to steal the Herald fly quest. They end up coming out with the objective, but can they get everybody away? Jose Diodo flashing over the wall, Run. not gonna give them the opportunity. Takui trying to get out of there. Fly quest doesn't lose a man. They get what they came for. Philip needs to get out of town now. He's on Whippo in the top lane as that was happening to make it so they couldn't get collapsed oh. on. But we're going to watch this one stealth. more time. Yep, he got six in stealth. On some, he never saw him. So you never see that he's six. So you're not paying the respect to that. You know, queuing up, only needed the canyon for the XP. Really well played here. Gets all the autos, kites it out well. Lands oh. in Whippo now. Whippo eating those oranges just in time to avoid some serious, more serious threat of death as Takui loses his clone here in mid lane. Bjergsen still doing just fine, pull over the bot side river, and now they've got a 2-0 Drake. Yeah, and I mean, it's all about the vision. You know, the observers are just showing us, you know, you look at the vision line, there's not much of anything, and now Johnson heading up towards top side. Bjergsen does have stopwatch, and he has ulti and exhaust, so this won't be an easy kill. Well, Johnson's still gonna go for it, Bjergsen. Buying time, there's your stasis. Johnson still got the oh. ulti ready. Contaminate's got him ticking low. Bjergsen will live through this one. The potion and the healing on the ulti oh, was enough. And Johnson just gets smacked 
to death by the troll and the pirate. Not a whole ton of damage coming out of it. The Odo is going in, and Afro moves right beside him. Immediate pop on Han Sama, and there's the gold we were looking for in Johnson's pocket. A catch like this. I think they just made a liar out of you, my friend. Han yep. Sama yep, yep, face yep. checking a brush with Philip waiting on him. Johnson flashes so in, in trying to chase, but that was not the right choice. Or JJ destroyed as they Afro. catch him instead. Santora now going to be in trouble. Has to flash up the wall. Afro move trying to get in with the quickness, but right back out. Out. Bjergsen coming in, seeing if maybe there's some sort of a counter punch to be found, but Takui is also on the flank. Hey. They find Shane's over the wall. Oh. Whippo's gonna get brought back, but he flashes away. Takui jumps in, and he finds Han Sama. Whippo won't laugh, and Bjergsen is draining nobody but the red buff. FlyQuest just got three. Takui played that so well, going over the wall, bursting down this area, then snapping back to his W in the red pit. Bjergsen pops the ulti to try to answer him there, and then he R's back <laughs> over the wall again to be able to break his ankles. They get the kill. They're going to take the Baron here as well. FlyQuest looking great. TL trying to move over here to TL doesn't want to give this but, up. But there's no flash on, on Santorin. There's no ult on Bjergsen. Well, Bjergsen at least still does have his stasis. Bozo the Odo jumping in there, seeing if they can have any sort of success in this. FlyQuest is going to be scared wow. away from the Baron. They have low health bars. They don't have a lot of resources left. FlyQuest disengages. That, to me should not have stopped him. That was a very... Close your eyes, didn't see Johnson's that. Johnson's ready to try to make a move out of this. Twitch. Johnson unloading! <laughs> Rat attack, tap oh, fire, the gas! Oh, Whippo is down! That's a... Uh, Cut the video. <laughs> that's, that's a rough one. That's, that's one of those moments that you want to forget real quick. I think Team Liquid, they can't push the waves very well. They're just hoping that a Twitch overextends oh, somewhere. In oh, Jose Odo already after him, looking to flash to continue the chase. R2 ready to go, and with yeah. Hans in the dirt through both subs, FlyQuest is loving it. Down to 4K. Team Liquid coming in, trying to stop oh, it. Santorin crushing. looking to challenge. Johnson's going to be taken to half HP. Oh, no! Bjergsen with the shutdown, and FlyQuest will crumble. Afromu tries to find something, but Bjerg's going to make it a double. kills in the LCS, and they break FlyQuest back. Just like that, FlyQuest have been playing such a good game all game long. Try to do the Baron on top of the GP ulti. Everyone comes in from TL, stacking up for that perfect fight. FlyQuest missing key ultimates there. TL just, just wait for the ocean. Oh, look at Johnson, though, like, no, wrapping around. Good. They're going to go for it. He's on a control board, though. Oh, Johnson's got to get out of there. Han Sama goes for him. Ooh. But now FlyQuest, they want to try to turn it around. Han Sama's going to be taking the in the middle of everybody. Jose Yoda looking to make the plays. Johnson running out of ulti time here. Philip needs to heal up a little bit further. He's going to die to Hans. Johnson's going to pop. FlyQuest have absolutely crumbled. Santor and Liv with no health there. They couldn't quite finish him off. The stopwatch on Santor and the Zonius on Bjergsen completely changing that fight. And now TL on the push here. Bjergsen TPs to bot. They'll deny the soul here. Tenacity. There are the stopwatches as well. Like by that time, Philip could be in trouble and Johnson as well. Santorin's going in for him. Johnson, however, he has his team nearby. He still has to flash away. The subjugate is burning. Johnson's oh. going to be saved by the shield, but FlyQuest have to fall back. They don't have their AD carry ready to fight. Team Liquid, they have this Twitch figured out. And they got his flash as well, so it's not even about waiting for the soul. They're just going in for more. Takui, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hot Saba! Gets the kill, 5v4, Team Liquid. Pearson got him over the wall with a claw, and then the Polymorph there to follow up. He could not get out. Ends up going down here, and now on the push, if they can dive on a Johnson, it's no go ult, no flash. They can look to end, potentially. No Twitch ulti with a numbers advantage in the first place. Jose Diodo nearly going to be killed. Wimbo just going in. He gets a killing spree. Team Liquid losing for 25 minutes, and then they win in 10. They will take down FlyQuest and get their dub. Back claws from Bjergsen, catches the Koi over the wall to set that up to get the kill there. Then the final kill they need on Twitch, he nails the claw on him as well, pulls him in, and with no flash, there is no way out. TL turned this game on its head. It was all FlyQuest for so long, but that Baron fight changed everything for TL. That's 
what you look back at in the VOD. That's the moment you go to because that's what changed the game. Multiple moves at Baron actually for FlyQuest. The first Baron, they peeled off early instead of finishing it. The second Baron, they probably shouldn't have gone to it at all, but throughout it, Team Liquid was able to minimize their losses. They were on the back foot for so much of that game, did not have engage tools, but then as soon as something does break their way, they absolutely make the most of it, and they never allowed FlyQuest to recover. Absolutely, and, and once FlyQuest was no longer kind of monstrously ahead, you saw how powerful the TL composition can be. When you can't yeah. get that initial kill, whether it is because of shielding or peeling, or whether it is because of a critical step walk,